That's what they just say. Riding down 17. How about them? Apartments called Wesley, Wesley Place. Um, I used to live over there and we moved to Northgate. That's kind of like in the Pontiac area or whatever. So, I mean, you know, I moved to Blackford, graduated from Blackford High, um, went to Millage Tech, went to Coastal Carolina. Um, so, you know, it's cooler, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from here. My mom's from Orangeburg. I got some peoples up in New York. Pretty much, I got family everywhere, man. But. Really, between Columbia and Orangeburg is, is, is really where I've been raised up. At. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a total difference. I mean, even in my parents. I mean, my mom is a country girl. My daddy was a city boy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, putting them two together. I mean, it was kind of cool. I got to learn the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like I go to the Orangeburg for the summers. Get down there with them country boys out there. You know what I'm saying? Walk around with no shoes on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Barefoot, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then I come back to the city, but I'm sorry, I'm ready to get back to the city, man. That fast life, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. fast pace, you know So Yeah. It was pretty cool, man. I can't, I, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. I love the city, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I started producing. Um, to be honest, um, and I told this, I told this, this, this gentleman, you know, when I get, when I, whenever I really get on, He's going to be the first person I ever, you know, talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, the person who got me started on it. Even though we're not really seeing eye to eye, like, in today's world, but you know, I'm going to always have that respect for him. Y'all going to be a big bro to me, you know what I'm saying? And, and I hope, you know, down the line we can, you know, last shot our differences, differences and come back together because he a talented artist as well. But my man, Dorian Jones, he was like my, you know, pretty much my best friend through damn near, Middle school through probably like more like half of my adult life, and um, you know he just I don't know he gravitated to me in middle school like eighth grade. He like two years older than me, so I was what like, sixth grade. He was in eighth grade, so this one day just cool on the bus, you know what I'm saying? Come one home, he stayed like two houses down from me. And I heard that he did music, you know what I'm saying? Like his uncle did music down in Atlanta heavy, and gave me some equipment and stuff, so. He was like the popular cat on the music tip. And um, you know, I just was freestyling one day, he heard me, and he was like, yo, you know, I got a little studio at the crib and I come through. So I mean ever since then, man, I mean I came through, he showed me the fruit of loops, that this one, fruit loops four was out. You know what I'm saying? We got twelve now. I started on the first one. Well, not necessarily the first one, but that was the most popular one back now. And I mean, ever since then he showed me how to make the beats, man. I just took off. I mean, I played drums in the church and stuff like that, so, and I love playing keyboards, so it's like the beats kind of just came to me, man. You know what I'm saying? So, really, my first piece of equipment was our family computer. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mom, she finally had, like, bought a computer. I think she got from, like, errands or something like that, furniture, and she was, like, renting it. And then she finally paid it off, so it was ours. And I mean, he gave me the, uh, Dorian gave me the software to take home. I, I hooked it up on my mom's computer. I mean, ever since then, it was a, it was a Dell, like 95 or some shit like that. Like, it was an old computer, bro. Like, and cause I started young, man. I started making beats at like 14, 15 years old. So, um, it was a Dell, I'll never get it. And, I, and to this day, my mom still got that Dell. And I gotta get that thing cleaned up. Cause I know I got some hits back, back there from then. You know what I'm saying? Still yeah. on that computer, dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right now I'm in the middle of, you know, of course, Fruit Loops, Learn Pro Tools. Um, I deal with, you know, I, I deal with Cool Edit, that's like the old school joints. But um, really just mainly, um, you know, Fruit Loops and, and, and Learn that Pro Tools, man. I'm trying to just be the complete, you know, the complete package. I mean, I can, you know, I'm an artist, producer, and learn how to become an engineer. I mean, Learn all that, man. I mean, you can't lose. And even, I mean, in the all naturality, people gotta learn this camera too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can learn everything that we pay for all the time, I mean, you're cutting out so many different people. Like, you save so much money. So, um, yeah, man, for the loops and Pro Tools, man, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, uh, my favorite of all time is Pharrell. And, I mean, 
you know, I know that's kind of crazy. A lot of people look at me like, you like for real? Like, well, I love for real. Like, I listen to for real well, as, as a child. And just his beats, like, he, he was smooth with it. And don't get me wrong, like, you know, no no shots to no shots to none of the trap producers or even trap rappers, but that's not me. Like, solely I'm not a trap producer. I like to make hits. And Pharrell makes hits. Like, his music is global. Like, it's everywhere. And you can play it at any kind of function. So I mean, Pharrell is like, like, I mean, when you hear his music, it, it take it, if, if you're a real producer. Music is supposed to take you somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And anytime I listen to something you do, it took me somewhere. So that's what I try to do with my music. I try to take people on a ride with my music. They don't feel it. And, uh, well, I mean, I done elevated in so many ways with the production. I done, you know, perfected it to the T. It's like now, well, well no, I start with in the past. In the past, you know, of course, my beats was just what how I felt, you know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, it was always smooth, something smooth with keys, you know what I'm saying, when I got when I, when I I got ready to make a beat, but then of course times changed, the music changed, you know, the artists changed, the, so the demand had changed, so, um, you know, I kind of started dibbling and dabbling into this trap stuff, you know what I'm saying, and I mean, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, because I mean, I, I can put my own twist on it, but uh, really though, I mean, the music now, I rock with it, but what gets me going on the beat, man, is just the feeling, man. Like, I mean, if I'm feeling like, if I'm in that good mood, I'm gonna make some real good up tempo stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just like commercial. But if I'm in that bad mood, it's gonna be some dark stuff. Like, it's gonna be some, some ill, like Travis Porter, um, Travis Scott type feel. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, I've learned a lot, but I haven't learned as much as I learned this year. And that's the thanks of uh, Ms. Shamelle Jones. Um, if you don't know her, haven't heard of her, you need to look her up, Facebook her. She's like, you know, a very inspirational artist, consultant out here, and producer consultant. And it's so much stuff she opened my eyes to far as the business part of it. So I look at it like this, I mean, you know, if you're going to be successful out here, you have to make sure your paperwork is in line. You know what I'm saying? Like, off rip. I mean, you know, down to the to the uh, PayPal's, you got to receive your money. Get your, you know, get, get, get your brand copyrighted. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you own it. Nobody can't steal it. And then you go ahead and get your ass cast, be in mind, whatever, you know what I'm saying, so you can get all the royalties for everything that you're putting out. Um, and I mean, it, it, it can happen. You can really live off making beats. Me personally, you know, I'm still striving to, to get to that point. But I can say, you know, throughout my years, I've, I've made a good bit of money off of just making beats. On top of working a full-time job, like, honestly, where it's taking me now, this time next year, I will be doing just making beats and, and, and engineering. And won't have to work a nine to five. And I mean, I'm 26, so I started making beats when I was 15, so it took me 10 years to get to this point. Some some people take, it might take a year, it might take less than that. It's all about how you apply yourself. See, I learned, I had to learn. So I want every producer out there just to do, you, just do your research. You know what I'm saying? On how to be successful on it, man. It's out there. Everything is out there in your, in your arm's reach. It's not as expensive as people think it is, man. It's like a few hundred dollars, man. One time fees, you know what I'm saying? And just to get your stuff, get your, get your paperwork. Like, and I had to learn that. I learned that, like I said, with Miss Chanel Jones. Like, she, she, she's good at what she do, man. Well worth the bread, you know what I'm saying? And that's that, yo. That's that. Man, I mean, I know I, I'm going to be like, as real as I can with this because, you know, a lot of producers don't think that they matter. And at the end of the day, it ain't a song to we compose that beat, man. You feel me? So I just want every producer out there just to know, like, it starts with you. So if you ain't got no passion in what you're doing, man, it ain't going to go nowhere, man. Just have a passion for it, yo. Like, make sure you're mixing right. You know what I'm saying? Look, school yourself. YouTube teaches you everything you need to know, bro. You 
feel me? They got videos and all on there, bro. Like, step by step. Make sure your quality good. Yeah, man. Like, uh, just, just make sure that, you know, your stuff is, is clean. Like, it's mixed and mastered right now, I mean. When you go to these labels, you go to these, uh, you know, uh, different places to present your music, man. You don't want it to sound like, you know, you ain't taking no pride in it. It might be hot stuff, but if, but if I can't distinguish the bass from the claps because they ain't mixed right, I can't, I ain't gonna listen to it anymore. I'm gonna cut it off. And that's anybody. I mean, you just always wanna make sure you got some type of pride in your work, professionalizing your stuff, like, just make sure you got this stuff clean, man. And I mean, it ain't hard. Everything's out there for you to learn. You ain't gotta pay nobody to learn this, dog. I mean, you can if you want to, but you can YouTube all this stuff, bruh. It's easy stuff right here that's gonna teach you step by step after you make your beat, what EQs you need to have your bass at. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you need to put a reverb on a clap or a hi hat, like, it's, it's simple stuff, man. But just make sure your stuff is nice and master, bro. <sighs> well, you know, I got seven artists under me. Saying, I mean, okay. shout out to you know, Classic Crew, Big Trap. Uh, well, Classic Crew didn't change the name to Nephew Quan. So, shout out to Nephew Quan, Big Trap, Woo Man, uh, my man Banks, Zard, Scheme, you know what I'm saying? My homie, uh, Mr. MCB, Metro Country Boy. Uh, who I'm missing? Uh, I'm missing somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rocky. You know what I'm saying? She like the um my one of my newest artists, uh, female artists. And I'm trying to tell you, she she's a monster with the lyrics. Um, far as other artists out there, other than my artists, um, Scotty Lee, he bought his business. Um, Jizzle campaign bought his business. Um, Fresh DeMarco. Uh, who else out there? I don't know where. I know I'm forgetting a lot of names, I'm sorry if I don't say your name, but you know you you, you know me if you don't work with me. Spook Duncan, uh, who else I work with him, man? Who got a name on here? Uh, man, it's a lot. It's a lot of art. I mean, because at the end of the day, a lot of cats, they they, they, they rock with me because I'm, 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 you know, I'm, they like my production. So at the end of the day, I mean, I don't work with a lot of, lot of cats, man. I mean, you know, to the Capital Cheese, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, shout out to my name, my man. Um, oh man, what's his brother's name? Nah, speaking of it, shout out to him. You know, R.I.P. the bro. You know what I'm saying? He was. I ain't gonna lie, the producers here, he, he, he was about to make it, bro. I mean, ain't no doubt though. To me, he made it because he had some. You know, he was out there. He done made beats for you know Gucci Man, the Future, and everybody, man. I mean. That's about the closest we done got as production. It, it is speaking out the dog. I mean, it might be some more underground cats out here that ain't, that ain't really rapping. Um, that, but that's the thing, though. It, it's a lot of that. Like, a lot of cats are on now that don't rap where we from. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put no names, but y'all know. Y'all know who I'm talking Y'all know the ones I'm talking about. And I ain't even gonna shout them out on this, because they don't even deserve my shout out, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's 100. Um, I got a chick, uh, uh, a female artist down in Atlanta, um, Miss Jones, she got me placed with, uh, Cami Seals. Um, look out for her. She, she, she pretty dope down there. She's up and coming on being a singer. Um, I want to say her Instagram is Candy Seals. It's just like how I said it, Candy Seals. Um, she ain't really got much out, you know, but she, like I say, she, she, on her, she about to be on her shit, so... You know, man, half the time you, you search somebody they ain't got much out, them, they really like being private, they about to start dropping some shit. Y'all yeah, about to buy it, so if you can find some free music of her right now, try to find it. Because uh, I got a song I, I produced for her. Um, and uh, well, actually, I remade a beat. Uh, the guy who produced it originally, she didn't, I guess she didn't like it. And, uh, you know, Miss Jones said it up, she's like, yo, can you make this beat? I was like, sure, you know what I'm saying? So I got it the way she liked it. I mean, you know, we're taking off today, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm major. I mean, y'all, like I said, y'all know my favorite is Pharrell. I got to work with him, but um, but somebody right now who's booming right now that I got to work with, um, honestly, I would have to I would have to work with uh, London on the beat, man. I mean, he pretty dope. You know, he got a different sound, he uses different claps, different snares, you know what I'm saying? So, 
I rock with bro. I, I, I can see myself rocking with him and making some hits. Um, as far as independent, I mean, I done dropped the whole SC Wave mixtape um, about, about a month ago. It was on Spinrilla. Um, seven, about seven to eight producers on there. I, I definitely got it. You, all y'all know who y'all on it. Um, you know, I got to collab with y'all. I already collab with a uh, Casio Beats and uh, Forty Cal. So you know, Bless Beats, um, Beats by Louie. Um, oh yeah, Breeze on the track. I done collab with him. Uh, Tony Carolina. I mean, I, all y'all guys, I would like to collab with because y'all came to me on some serious shit and y'all look, y'all fit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all looked at what I was trying to do for producers. Y'all, y'all have, y'all fuck with me, dog. So I, I salute y'all. We all gotta collab. You feel me? Yeah. Yo. Yeah.